Hi there folks, here's the uh, Butcher Polywog. Uh, it's about 1920s, 1930s. Um, just take a look around it. Um, there's quite a lot of work to do on this um, vintage rebuild, um, but I think basically it's um, all the main components are here and they're all original, so uh, that's good. Um, there is a lot of work to do, um, but I think it can be achievable. Um, as we look round, I'm going to have to um, replace the floor. Um, I'm going to do that with 5mm um, seasoned mahogany from the boatyard. Um, I'm going to steam it to get it to shape. Um, we're going to probably make it about 2mm wider here so that we can put new strips down each side and across the back and the front. Um, the engine is seized, but you can see that um, it does turn, so um, I'm hoping that the bevel gears will be okay. Um, that's not a problem to unseize these at all. Um, if we look down at it, um, there's a small circlip here, so we can take that off. And then what we'll do is, um, what I'll do is I'll um, just um, put it in a bath of um, WD-40 for a couple of days, and um, then we can um, free it. Um, once we've done that, um, we can see about cleaning all this up. Um, but I think the engine itself will be okay. Um, if we have to make if I have to make new cylinders for it, then uh, we'll make new new cylinders in here. But um, I think that um, I think it will be okay. Um, the boiler seems to be okay. So um, and we've got most of the. Um, most of the original parts on it, so um, we're going to take take the aluminium top off and then just get rid of this, this bump here and just uh, clean it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to put um, a stop valve in about here and um, probably tee off to um, a pressure gauge. So we can see what um, pressure we're going to to use on it, and um, we'll probably um, convert it to gas actually. So that's that. So uh, see you next time.